relieved. Yeah. It's just like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm so relieved and like happy mm. and we can get mm. back to some sort of normality. Mm. It is hard to imagine though. I think we've made so many adjustments and it's almost hard to imagine what a new normal would look like. So yeah, I think it is hard to imagine for me. Yeah. If the yeah. statistics show it, then yes. I'm pleased for mm. it. I think, you know, teaching online is, is one thing and um, um, the children have really benefited from that, but it's time now. Um, yeah, mm. I think we're all it ready. It's difficult, definitely difficult. I think it'll be good to, to have everyone back in so that we can close some of the gaps that have very clearly widened up um, in terms of the disproportionate um, education that people are getting based on their socioeconomic income. Um, so it'll be good to try and be back in person so that those gaps can be somewhat mm. narrowed. But I think health-wise, there is obviously that concern that they'll, yeah. the transmission will increase again. Yeah. But So it is definitely difficult to weigh up, isn't it? Mm. In terms of barbers, in terms of um, obviously just going out for a meal with, with close ones and that, even socialising, it shows you how important them things are to balance your life. I mean, yeah, it's just down to, if they feel we're safe enough to do that, then yeah, we're all in for it, you know what I mean? So, yeah, so I'm sure they know what they're doing. Well, I hope so. <laughs> of course, it's, it's great news. I mean, I, I wish the hair salon was opening sooner. I do need a haircut and a beard trim. But <laughs> uh, well, I see, I, I mean, I guess I gotta wait until the 12. But you know what, I, I actually, I'm a registrar, so I register death and, you know, marriages and it's, it's, it's been tough times for a lot of families and, you know, we do hear the, the, the upsetting, the sad and, you know, bad news the family has to face and, uh, you know, it's something for us to work towards and, you know, it's, it's, it's great to see that, the, the, you know, so some sort of normality coming back into our lives. Uh, it's been a long time, too. I mean, as I'm talking from the uh, parents' point of view, it's not easy to stay at home working and looking after the kids at the same time and making sure their work is done. And they also log in and you know study at home. So I'm sure a lot of parents will see that as a very good news. I mean, I, I hope the government have learned from the mistakes that they've made. Um, and I'm sure obviously they've been cautious and not letting out people too early. Um, and they've learned from stuff that they did from the last lockdown to this lockdown. For me, generally, the vaccine is there and it was designed to prevent you know, people from getting seriously ill. And if that's doing its job, then no, I don't, I don't see any issues. You know, I don't see any problem with that. Well, listen, it's up to him. Bob will say, it's easier to do. It's like, well, it's worse than mine, look. <laughs> I've got a COVID haircut. Look at that, I've got me the bowls are open. The are going to open on April 12th. Oosh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, yes and no, I think. I'm kind of really excited to be getting back to my football training and like the social aspect of seeing people. Um, nervous, as always, with things changing. Like, is it going to go well? Is it actually going to go ahead? Is always another one. Um, there's like a, a gentle undercurrent of nerves, but nothing that's going to stop me from actually going and getting back to things I enjoy, you know? Yeah. Um, yes, I'd say putting a fixed date on things is always going to be a bit ambitious. Um, I think it's nice that we have a bit more stability with a plan. Like, it feels like there's actually a plan rather than you wake up on one morning and, oh my God, you're suddenly in a different tier or, you know, you suddenly can't go out. Or And it, I think having a plan will prevent m more panic and keep everyone easy into it sort of thing rather than it just being scramble last minute, they're pulling decisions out of unmentionable places. Like just being able to see a friend and actually feel comfortable giving them a hug or, you know, a high five or sharing a meal with them, sharing food off each other's plates, you know, that sort of thing that you don't really have any comfort to do at all with anyone at the moment. Look, it got to a point where I sort of assumed that there would be no end in sight, so actually any date put forward is a bit of a surprise, I must admit. Um, I think it sounds relatively hopeful. I think there still needs to be a lot done in terms of the general public obeying the rules up until then. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem awfully far off, if I'm, if I'm completely honest, but fingers crossed.